Salutations, everyone. This is Razor13 here giving you a uh, domination match on the map Stadium. And um, this is a uh, video I'm going to, I'm making to let you guys know how you can practice for Modern Warfare 3, how you can get into that mindset. And uh, no, this isn't about uh, quick scoping or any of that. <laughs> Even though I am using a sniper. The reason I'm using the uh, L96 right here is because of Scout Pro. Now the reason I'm using Scout Pro is for the pro ability to switch weapons faster. As you can see, I picked up that guy's weapon real fast and then picked up my own uh, really, really quickly. And that's what Scout Pro allows you to do. You can pick up weapons faster, switch weapons faster, and uh, also use your equipment uh, faster. Uh, like Quick Draw Pro will uh, do for us in Modern Warfare 3 outside of the uh, the whole grenade business. But like you can use uh, Claymores and C4s a lot quicker. Uh, but the reason I'm using the Scout Pro to let you guys know how to practice for Modern Warfare 3 is because uh, in Modern Warfare 2, uh, the main gripe I had with that game outside of the obvious stuff um, was that I couldn't have Sleight of Hand and Scavenger at the same time. And in Black Ops, I was really psyched that I can have Sleight of Hand and Scavenger because that's, that's what I wanted in Modern Warfare 2. Um, but in, in Black Ops, uh, it, that really wasn't um, what I had expected. Because of the lack in stopping power and the fact that it's totally different from Modern Warfare 2, um, really changed the the whole sleight of hand scavenger dynamic. In that, um, in Modern Warfare 2, I wanted scavenger because you know I would always run low on ammo because you didn't really get a lot. Um, you know, using like a, an assault rifle or something and high kill streaks, even though they stack, I found myself running out of ammo quite often. And now some people might want to combat this by going with the Overlord. Uh, set up in Modern Warfare 3 in that uh, you can have two primary weapons so you really don't have to worry about scavenger and you can still have sleight of hand. And that's one way to go about it. Um, but uh, I, I do not want to get myself uh, for not having a secondary because first of all the secondaries are going to be very good in Modern Warfare 3 and uh, se second of all I can, I'm also giving up you know blast shield and assassin if I'm going with the overkill setup. And that's just not something I want to do. I'm only going to be using overkill just for funsies, you know, just fooling around. And um, so what I'm going to do in Modern Warfare 3 and what this video is showing you how to do is to pick up weapons like freaking crazy. Because Sleight of Hand Pro in Modern Warfare 3 gives you this Scout Pro ability to pick up weapons and switch to weapons faster. Uh, now this is uh, going to be especially crucial um, because if you're using sleight of hand, you can't use scavenger. So the best way to get the ammunition that you need is to pick up more guns. And the best way to do that is with uh, sleight of hand or scout in this instance, which is what I'm highlighting in this game. As you can see, I'm picking up weapons left and right, um, no matter what they are. You know, crappy gun, pistol, submachine gun, assault rifle, what it, whatever. Um, that's what I'm using. I'm also getting a couple kills with my sniper rifle when I find when I see fit. Um, but unfortunately in Modern Warfare 3, dual mags is not coming back. This was my by far my favorite attachment from Black Ops. I really, really liked it because you didn't need scavenger to get to your dogs or chopper gunner or your gunship. You just put on uh, dual mags to get that extra ammunition with uh, whatever assault rifle you wanted. Uh, you know, some machine guns you really have to use scavenger unless you're using the 74U or the MP5K. But when it came to assault rifles, you can put... Uh, dual mags on any of the weapons that you need more ammunition for. You really did not need more ammunition for the M16 uh, because you can get to your higher kill streaks and beyond without needing extra ammunition because it only, you know, it's a three round burst and it's really diligent on ammo. And the G11 didn't need scavenger either because it had a massive 42 round magazine and it also had some reserves and it was also three burst weapons so those two guns were no problem when it came to ammo but all the others, um, I liked running dual mags. On my AK, on the FMAS, AUG, um, the Commando, you know, I liked running dual mags a lot, and you've seen me use dual mags in a lot of my videos, and I didn't need to use Scavenger, because I had that ammunition already uh, in my back pocket with the uh, dual mag attachment, which gave you one extra magazine, which is the one that was taped to it in the beginning. And um, so in Modern Warfare 3, the way I'm going to combat this lack of ammo is to pick up additional weapons. As you can see, um, I, I just keep picking up weapons. Kill a guy, 
find another weapon, and then it just the cycle goes on. Got a nice little black birdie here. So you pick up this guy's Kaparis with the rapid fire. And unfortunately, uh, it did not give me enough ammunition to take out that guy. But I think you you get the point that I'm I'm trying to make. This is a really good way to to practice for Modern Warfare 3 because of uh, using Slide of Hand and Slide of Hand Pro. Uh, you know, it'll get you into the groove of picking up weapons, and it's really good practice at uh, mastering that technique. Um, some people like uh, switching to their secondary and then picking up another weapon and switching back to their initial primary. Some people like dropping their primary, uh, picking up the other weapon, switching to your secondary, and picking up your original primary, uh, which is actually faster. Um, but what I like to do is uh, pick up additional weapons. See, pop one guy, get another gun. Pop another guy, get another gun. And then turn the corner and pop this guy. And that look how quickly that was. P pick up another gun. Take out another guy. That's what uh, Scout Pro and Black Ops allows you to do. And the main drawback of having uh, Scout Pro is that when you pick him up, another see, look, another weapon, another kill. That's just what I do. The main drawback to having Scout Pro in Black Ops was that uh, the reload is really slow. And sometimes when you pick up a gun, it doesn't always always have full ammunition. And sometimes it's a gun that uh, you won't be able to get uh, very many kills with one magazine, if one at all, if you're like inaccurate or say like I use the Kapars rapid fire, that eats up ammunition quickly. So, uh, but with uh, you know Sleight of Hand Pro and Modern Warfare 3, you have the weapon swapping ability and faster reload. So it's just going to be an awesome, awesome, awesome combination. Um, and I, I can't stress this uh, enough um, that sleight of hand is going to be a great, great perk in the first tier spot. Um, sh sure, scavenger is going to be a lot better in Modern Warfare 3 because it replenishes everything, replenishes your claymores, bouncing beddies, C4s, uh, you know, throwing knives, tactical grenades. Uh, I've even heard it, it uh, resupplies noob tubes, but I've also heard that that's only true if the person whose pack you're picking up had noob tubes in their setup initially. So hopefully that's the case. Um, if if not, I'm hoping Scavenger doesn't replenish it all. But it is a uh, uh, Infinity Ward, so uh, noob tubes are always going to be very favored in that game. Even though that they've nerfed them uh, quite considerably, and the blast shield is going to help us with that as well. So uh, just up in my chopper gunner, and this is a chopper gunner that I earned from just picking up weapons. Um, so this is a real nice way to do sleight of hand in Modern Warfare 3 to its fullest. In that reloading quickly and picking up weapons and swapping weapons a lot faster. Giving you more uh, primary weapons without having to sacrifice a second tier slot perk and using Overlord. Instead of uh, you know quick draw blast shield assassin you know whatever perk you want to use final score here is 44 and five or two captures and four defends doing a little bit of sniping but mostly just picking up any gun that I can find uh, thanks to Scout Pro so go ahead and give this a shot I know a lot of people might not have Scout Pro because sniping wasn't very uh, very popular in Black Ops because it was more difficult than it was in previous uh, CODs so. If you're close to getting Scout Pro, go ahead and get it. If you just want to uh, get some practice in there for Modern Warfare 3, this is one of the best ways that you can do it in Black Ops right now, which is still a lot of fun. Um, I am playing a lot of Battlefield 3 right now, which is a freaking awesome, awesome game. And uh, so be sure to uh, leave comments below. You know I love your comments. And of course, if you ha leave any questions there, I absolutely promise I will get to answering them as soon as I can. So hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys later.